refugees they are singing to the tune of a song and the wind is gently ringing the bell that brings the morning welcome of the dawn of the robin the call of the dove the red leaves are falling the barn owl is calling the welcome of the dawn the dogs will be howling And there we go. Welcome to another episode of Pat Riley's Adventures in the Crossing. Eh. A little bit more noise, I know. But hey, I promise you, it's all just to try and get the sound quality as good as I possibly can get it. Alright, that works too. Howdy, howdy. No way. Let's 
Okay. That looked worse than it was. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not trying to do any of that. That was a bit weird. Sorry about that. She is neck deep in paperwork, so we will let her work. That was crazy. Pun duty? Oh no. Ugh. Oh no. That's the worst thing we've invented. Pun duty. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a good point, bot. Boop. What the bot means to say is this, which I usually pin at the beginning of the stream, but, you know, I forget. Just so that people don't get upset that I'm not responding to them immediately. It's not that I have any malicious intent. It's just that I want to keep things as immersive as possible. So, you know. I don't respond as quickly. That is all. These 20 vials of blood have to be 20 vials of snake blood. Unfortunately. <laughs> That's the drop off point. Excuse me. Orange Grove job board. I think what I will do is, um, I will go on duty, but I will be out west, near the New Austin Tower. Let's see, we only have Bo and Ellie. Who are on duty right now. Check the general news. Nina Oakley is one of us. Ranger, Ranger. Hoo ha ha. Alright, um, anyway. Oh, yeah, we have the new border map. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Huge win, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Grab a copy of that. 
And they said I was Nero spicy, and I said I don't like spicy food. I don't know. Forgive me. Please. Sometimes my tongue is quicker than my mind. Why did my music stop? Hold on. Got a uh, Ranger Bow Carter. Ranger Bow Carter. All right. Um, let's see. Senior Ranger McKinney. Gang activity in Central Roanoke. Hmm. I am unsure where he is, but he is on duty. Don't worry, I'll send him a telegram. Thanks, Ranger. The estate needs something that's hidden now. Get mobbed here a couple of days back. Do you know about that? I Cody Clifton not. has resigned. All right. Um, I did. I did see him running out of town, like quite some time back, but I'm not exactly sure where he's gone. He hasn't Don't sent worry. anything to the tip line. Oh, I've written up what he's given us. Uh, it'd be good to have a face-to-face -face chat. You never know what else you remember. All right. All right. Thanks again. No problem. Hmm. What is going on with that? Hmm. All right. Let's clock on, I guess. Boop. That's step one, which is connect to the Discord, and step two is clock in in game whoa suddenly more people do 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 Welcome of the dawn. Hey, Alyssa. Welcome, and it's very good to have you. Hope you're doing well. I do have a new overlay. Yes, indeed. Figured I could try to hide my hood a little bit and make things more immersive without me having to sacrifice um, functionality, really. You've been up for way too long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need to check the telegrams. We need somebody to go pull his ear. Yeah. If you'd like to. <laughs> I don't know the guy, so he'd probably just be like, who the fuck are you? Okay, he is just a ranger, though, right? So that's... I don't have to worry about rank or nothing. <laughs> what? He's not a ranger. Is he not? No. 
Is just he a dude? just some guy? He's a friend of mine. All right, well, I can, I can rope just a guy. No. <laughs> That's how you get arrested, actually. <laughs> you didn't think I was serious, did you? <laughs> no. All right, good. Any idea where he might have gone? You just, you, you just walk right past. Son of a bitch. Well, if you know where he is, then, I mean, yeah. He's fine. He can roam. And yes, the, uh, the overlays are new. Very true. Wait, my volumes are low? What the fuck? How? Since when? I didn't change anything. I don't think it's okay. Audio is the main part of a stream for me. All right, hold on. Let me let me see what I can do to fix this shit. God damn it. Okay, wait a second. Before I change anything here. Wait, how low are we talking? Like, compared to what, mostly? Like, low, low. You had to turn my stream volume up and your headset volume up. Hmm... I see... Okay, if I do this, is this any better for you? Yes, okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so we have microphone volume sorted. That's one. Um, hmm. The music, I'm guessing, is background, background, right? You can barely hear that. You don't even hear the music. All right. So that's an adjustment in the game music. So the game should be a little louder now. And everybody else should be equally as loud, if not slightly louder, than me whenever they speak. But we can't really test that until someone speaks. Alrighty, anyway. Aside from all that... Uh, I can tell you I'm going to be a bit weird probably for a couple minutes, maybe an hour, I don't know. I don't know how long, but I had a good sleep and it's got me a bit weird.
Mm -hmm. So you have been warned. You mute your music whenever you do search and rescue. Yeah, I just put it on very low or off, depending. Especially if it's an area I don't know very well, the chances that I find someone with music on much lower than when it's off. So, just sort of depends. Busy up there. Hmm. All right, Ellie, I'm going to get out of your hair. I'm going to go to the new Austin Tower if you need me. New Austin Tower? All right. Make sure to send the tip saying that you're stationing there. Will do. Do that on my stop in Armadilla. I just don't want to be stuck in Strawberry for the millionth time, you know. <laughs> Change of scenery. And if no tips come in for a while, then, I don't know, maybe clock off, do some bird hunting, and go check. Something like that. You're still stuck doing maps? Ugh. How many more to go? I really don't have any idea how many you have. Jesus. Alrighty, well, it sounds like you have a lot. Which will be a bit of a pain in the ass. And this is, I'm guessing, on top of, rather than, well, probably on top of, as well as, in collaboration with what Ellie's now trying to do.
sort of. Alright, that's fine. I won't pray. Alrighty. I haven't really been able to keep up with that channel because it, it's been busier than what I have seen for a while. Like chat here. And for good reason. If I can remember to, I'll have to read through it all. Hey, Militia. Welcome out in. It's very good to have you. Hope you're doing well. How's your favorite ranger crew? I think we're doing all right. Thank you for the covert compliments. <laughs> Weather's finally nice there. Needed the break from winter. Yeah, I get that. We had a pretty good day um, over here as well. Pretty warm, which was nice for a change. Although, to be fair, I never really leave the house anymore, so it doesn't bother me too much. For you guys, winter has returned. Oh, God. It has just switched around. Somebody else got the winters. A week of sun was too much for weather. <laughs> uh... A week of sun and your grass is already begging to be moved? What the hell?
There we go, tip sent in. Dude, stormy. Still looks like it's the middle of the day, though. Pretty much. Wild horse. Wild horse. Somebody just popped that bird. Spiffy! Hello, welcome on in. Very good to have you up here. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. I'm Chaotic Creative playing Pat Riley on Wild RP. Very nice to meet you. Kind of an uh, exclusive Wild RP streamer for a bit. Don't think that'll change anytime soon either. Another damn snake. More wild RP streamers, yes indeedy. You love seeing how I have no clue. Okay. If it's from creative. Ah, alrighty. Well, it's very good to have you. And if we had met previously, I'm so sorry. I'm absolutely terrible with names. I hope you will forgive me. <laughs> yes, it is very nice to have someone in here. Also, Ranger Task Force. Heck yeah! More ranger stuff. Where's your Justine? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Living the hermit life. <laughs> You know what seems fair? I don't have anything to cook. What am I doing? Oh, nighttime. Uh. 
time to go check that wolf den near Armadillo. You can ignore the bot. The bot's a bit of a dumbass. It was meant to put that command in chat every, like, 15 minutes to half an hour. But instead, it does that. So I've just pinned the message it's supposed to put up there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, horsey, I know all the cacti hurt. I feel bad. If they're out, they're gonna be here somewhere. Should be closer to uh, that thing, the abandoned church. around here-ish. I feel like if they had been out, I would have heard something by now. See if they haven't roamed. See, whenever I see something shiny from a distance, I'm immediately like, what animal is that? <laughs> what critter? Yeah. Ooh, shiny. Yes. I've also encountered them, like, around here, closer to the road up there. And then they'll chase people all the way down to where they can catch up at the road. But it doesn't look like they're out tonight. Like, that whole line of rocks is just there to annoy people. Because <laughs> horses are like, No, please, I don't want to. Must grab shiny thing. Must always grab all the shiny things. Hello, loot goblin. 
If I wasn't a lawful character, I would loot the shit out of everything in sight. Alright. <laughs> Just fair warning given. <laughs> If I ever play a crim, anything that isn't nailed down is mine. Although, if I do play a crim, I wouldn't rob people until just about when I'm gonna kill them. Play the long con. That's dangerous stuff, you're now scared. What? I'm playing Pat, alright? You have nothing to be scared of. I'm sweet protector dad, Pat Riley. <laughs> alright. side eyes. No, no. I won't play my crim for a while yet, so you have nothing to fear, I promise you. I'm having way too much fun just being Pat and helping people and, you know, supporting my fellow rangers. It's way too good. Like, we're talking months down the line at this rate. And I like that. It doesn't need to be like, oh, we're gonna do something different next month. You know, that's GTA RP. That's not... not really my style or flavor. Give me some nice slow burn RP where we can sort of get involved either lightly or whatever we want with d different things. And see what grows from it. Screw that snake. I like my little background and all suck. <laughs> 
just have a look around. For any danger peak peeps or danger eminals. Not that I expect that there will be many of the criminals active currently. But you never know. There might be some wolves in this in these here hills, but I don't know if they're gonna be out. For some reason I doubt it. I'm not gonna get too close to that place up there because I mean people do like to hide there and plan nefarious shit, so you know, let's maybe not get in the middle of all of that. Especially not alone. That might be what we call dangerous. Okay, piggies, damn. I know. It's okay, though. Nobody's hurting you. <laughs> God damn. Just like real pigs, they scream bloody murder. I also love how Streamlabs now has used exclamation mark percent trying to use the command. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole thing. The cat's home. Where is it though? Here, kitty kitty. There you are. Wait, no, you're not. That's a coyote. Oh, misleading. Where's the cat? I heard it. Cute cat -o. Yeah, cute cat -o. Where you go? Where's the cat there? I wanted to see your pretty fluffy face. What the hell? Like, do you recognize cat food? Is that what's going on? Has the weapon finally done it? Has it gained enough recognition amongst cat kind to ward people from it? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure that frickin' hit. Do stay careful. If Kato is only hurt and not dead, it can still hurt you. Hi, buddy. You help me kill the Kato? Thank you.
Now, where is Cat? What is Cat? I'll do you one better. Why is Cat? What? Why are you patting your hoof like that? There's no... There's no kitty nearby. You're fine. You're just being a little drama baby horse, see? A drama baby horsey. That cat is so long gone. You all love drama. Then we all love this horse. I think the cat is just freaking gone. Alright, well that means it's not on the roads, so... <laughs> Winning. What, another snick? Where? Where's snick? Stop. Danger noodle. Did I get it? Oh, I sure did. Hell yeah. It's okay, I killed the danger noodle. It's okay. Yeah, Danger Noodle. Uh, Danger Noodle, nope, rope. Snick. I haven't heard that in a good while. Well, I'm happy to bring it back. <laughs> Mm, no, I want you hitched because you get a little. You get a little annoyed when you don't. No! Okay, can I hitch you to this stuff? No. You're a picky horse. You're a damn picky horse. What do you want? Uh... God, a hitching post I would currently just frickin' kill for. Will you hitch to this? Come on, that's the largest bush here! Ugh. Hate.
Why? Look down to the ground, keep pressing E, even if there is no prompt. Oh. Oh! Alyssa with the absolute god tier tip right now. Jesus, thank you so much. That was driving me nuts. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, we can see everything. They'll never even know we're here. Metal Gear. No, I'm <laughs> just being ridiculous. I don't know. I have weird energy today. You forget if you do that or not. You probably do, but it's just like so automatic you don't even realize anymore. Oh, so that tiny thing is a cedar whatever wing. Okay. It's pretty. But if you shot it with anything, it would just be... It would just be a feather explosion. One huge benefit of me being here is that I can just talk to you guys. At least until I have to go out for an SNR or something. chill staying there and working too? I imagine so. Getting some of that tedious paperwork out of the way. Time to chill and watch over one of the many pretty landscapes. Absolutely. I enjoy most of our towers to be honest. A great time for the balance thing for Pat? I guess so. I don't really know what he needs to be doing right now, though, that that would make this balanced. <laughs>
Chiuso. Well, I was chill. Fuck. That's something Pat has to find out? Fuck's sake. I don't even know. How's Pat gonna know? Hydrate and posture check. That's not a bad idea. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I will, I will sit here for three hours and, like, just let time tick. I don't care. <laughs> I'm wasting time either way. But I really don't know... Um, yeah, I don't know what there is to balance at this moment. We're on duty, we've cleared the animal dens. And now we're chilling in the tower. So, I would like to introduce you all to the principle of you can only work with the information you have, meaning if I have no information, that's it. What is that? Where'd it go? No, not you. You're tiny and cute. What the fuck? Look at that cute little thing. People probably shoot those. Can you believe that? Look at that. No. Okay, it is kind of grim that this portion looks out over a graveyard, though. Not gonna lie. What even is that? Like, by the way, if you fuck up out here, guess where you're ending up? Ding, ding, ding! Spot's already dug. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My mind took that and ran with it. Oi, oi, oi. No, I don't feel so good. <sighs> That's because I wasn't breathing right. Remember that breathing thing we all do naturally as human beings? Yeah, I need to kickstart that sometimes. Because <laughs> I'll forget. And then I start feeling nauseous and I won't know why. And then it's like, oh yeah, by the way. Breath. 
es importante. <laughs> Look at that. I made it down the ladder first try. Hell yeah. Breathing is important. There are some exercises for it. Yeah, it's true. There's your next channel reminder. <laughs> Breathe that for 500 points. <laughs> What's this? Station Emerald Tower. Good day, Rangers. Your station at Emerald Tower will be in and around the area doing patrols and ensuring the path is clear of any dangerous wildlife. You want to drain the tip line on this side of the crossing until further notice. Bo Carter. Wasn't wasn't Emerald Tower da dangerous? Is he gonna get killed? Um. 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 That's not safe. That's not, and that's no, 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 no. Oh frick! It's fine. <laughs> sure, it's fine. It's perfectly okay. He he. Breathe, Pat. Yeah. I should, but stuff like that makes me nervous. Um. Let me check our map here real quick. Eh. Yeah, I should check in around Tumbleweed. Where's the Where's the danger noodle? Where is it? Calm down, buddy. I don't see it. Okay. No seeing the danger of the noodle. There is no snake. It is long gone. Probably one of those tiny ones. I hate those. Yeah, well, tweet, tweet, tweet to you too. Hello, bunny. You are very cute. I don't know what you're doing out in the desert, though. That's That seems bad for you. A squirrel? What? I mean, I'd heard that there were squirrels in the desert. I'd never seen one, though. What in the hell?
Boo, scary horse thing. Oh, run away. Mm -hmm. well, someone's around here. Stretch? Okay. Hold on. Let me find a little spot here. I'm sure this will be fine. Alright, stretch time. <laughs> Stretch your both the legs. Oy. <sighs> Good stuff. It's only a quick stretch, you know, but it's good to do every now and then. What is this? I haven't been in here yet. That looks like dynamite. All right. So maybe not mess with that. So that's probably the shooting I heard. They were probably doing the shooting range that's right back there. That makes sense. If two people are doing it, it sounds like a gunfight, but it's actually practice. Well. Yeah, no more snake problems for you, bud. You're welcome. Howdy. I say hello to the locals. They don't know what I'm doing. But it's... It's immersive. <laughs> Meh, those birds aren't worth really a lot. Pretty much worth nothing. Especially if I blast them with a the navy, they'll just be mush. Mm-hmm. 
This, this kind of reminds me of that one manor that we found out in the bayou that I really want to inhabit. <laughs> Yeah, you remember the one I was I'm talking about? Um it's like Beh, we go over here. I don't know. I think it's like back here somewhere. Yeah, I think that's the one. But it's like, the whole mansion looks pretty awesome. Just needs a little sort of repair. At Shady Bell, I think so? I just remember looking at that mansion and being like, this place is beautiful. It just needs like a little bit of furniture. Some lighting, and it'd be perfect. Especially for, like, creepy characters, because it's, like, it's in the middle of the bayou, the whole vibe is sort of mysterious and creepy. And I think it could do well for, like... Yeah, I don't know, some kind of... Some kind of crim or just mysterious character to live there and host events in there and that kind of deal. That's what that place sort of reminds me of. I mean, that one over back there is a little smaller, obviously, but still. Like, has that same sort of general vibe to it. The only thing I'd be worried about is the dynamite that's stashed all around that house. <laughs> that might give some folk a bit of an unfair advantage. <laughs> like, it's fun to play with now, but if it was actually to become something, that might be... That might be dangerous. Don't be scared, horsies. I don't do th bad things. What do I mean, become something? Like, if someone or a group of people would actually elect to use that place actively, then that dynamite becomes a liability. I wasn't anywhere near those. Wow. They're spooked so easily. Again, players are careful of powering through it. Usually, roleplay before gunplay. True.
that's one thing that's been very different from what I'm used to, I should say. Um, because I come from ARC roleplay and GTA roleplay, where there's very much this prevalent win mentality. So not having to deal with that is, it's almost like a culture shock where it's like, oh, so I can actually just, you know, prioritize, prioritize story and interpersonal relationships and all that. That is very freaking awesome. It's probably one of the few, one of the things, not one of the few, there's a lot of things I love about Wild RP, but one of the things I mainly love about Wild RP is that, that the focus is on story and people rather than, I'm, I'm gonna come out on top, I'm gonna have most money, 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 money. Sorry, I don't know why I did that in Cartman voice, but there you go. If I'm watching Law vs. Crim RP, they have a shootout after extensive RP. They drag it out long. Yeah, I've seen some of the gunfights lasting like half an hour and stuff like that, which is insane. It's really cool, though. Like, it makes that gunfight just like a really cool scene. And the RP before that, it's usually this slow ramp up of intensity where it's like they have a whole conversation and then someone says just the wrong thing to the wrong person and they try to claw their way out of that. But it's like that line has been crossed and now they're at that next stage of escalation until eventually a gun is drawn and then it just breaks loose. It's very cool to see. Alright, I guess we're turning back into night. Oh, it's only a scratch pet, please. Gotta make sure there's no wolves around Armadillo. Yeah, it's always so dramatic. Like, oh, you have the tiniest of tiny wounds. Ah! Okay, buddy. Dies of 1d4 fall damage and rolling a 1 <laughs> on the die. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's a lizard, not a snake. Not like it happened before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's happened at my tables as well. Or that whole thing of, like, character A wants to use a very powerful move. And you ask them, are you sure? And they go, yeah, absolutely, I want to do that. All right, and then you show them the radius, and they're like, oh, that's going to hit all of my friends. Yep, sure is. Laughs and fireball, yeah, pretty much. Laughs in, um, what is it? Like, not armor of Agathis, but there's like these, like, tendrils of something or other. And it's like a zone of just tentacle horror. 
Yeah. That's a fun one. Do I spy some gray wolves? I think I do. Nope, it's a damn goat. <laughs> It's a fucking goat! You were prey to that? Oh, I'm sorry. I hope your GM did not describe it in horrible detail. I can't believe I mistook a goat for a gray wolf. Oh my god. <laughs> From afar, it looks the same, okay? <laughs> That was horrible. Revoke my license. I'm not worthy. Two K added. Eee. Interessante. Are you serious, horse? Man, fuck you. What's wrong, puppies? I thought you wanted to play. Huh? Did I kill the last one? You're fake wolves. Alright. That almost went terribly wrong. But then I shot that first one, and everything turned in my favor.
You. Silly horse. Alright, at least we know the road up here will be safe. I take pride in that. I'm not gonna lie, it also kind of feels nice that even though you've been thrown off your horse and are now at half health, you can still manage to recover from that and turn the tide. Pretty sweet. Where's the snake? Show me the snake. <laughs> That's right. Mm. I should go to Armadillo. Go to their little medic's office. Get me some syringes. Because I need vials of snake blood for the Blackwater medics. Might as well grab a few of those while I'm out here.
<laughs> we have room for four of them. smooth transition. For the briefest of seconds, that dog somehow looked like a baboon to me. <laughs> that means the snake is nearby. Where did it go? It's one of those that just sort of disappears immediately. That's unfortunate. These locals are super lucky. Because, like, anytime I run into a snake, howdy, they're just, like, cruising along. They're like, yeah, this is fine. Snakes don't hurt me. Well, that's fantastic. Can you teach me how to do that trick? Because I would love to not be bothered by snakes sometimes. Sounds like a dream. Lizard. It's okay, buddy. It's a babbit. There's no, no, no danger noodle here.
You're safe. <laughs> Sometimes the lizards are just too funny because they do a little like me sound <laughs> amazing. Awesome playing dead. <laughs> Can I just hear crows? Shoo, you little... Emissary of Death. The urge to shoot a bird. Pretty substantial. Heard a hiss. It's a lizard. Me. Lizard me. More lizard. Let, 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 let. Don't run into rocks, okay? Please. Please. Horse, no. Bed. Be afraid, horsies. Be afraid. The humans are coming. Anyway.
I've done ranch work here once before. A long time ago now. Feels like anyway. Feels like time just passes differently. Like I feel I've I've already done and seen so many things in my short time here. Good old ranch work. Yeah, it's oddly rewarding. <laughs> like, it's just a chill time and then you get a bunch of money at the end. It's pretty damn good, actually. <laughs> I mean, fair, that money sort of gets spent really damn quick, but, but it's nice to have it when you have it. <laughs> and... Ranches are frequented by quite a few people, so you get a bunch of RP if there's people around too, so it's like... Plus, plus, plus. It's how I ran into a group of drunk deputies during one of my first days in the crossing. I was just doing ranch work and they came by on their cart and they were like, Whoa, person, hold up, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we heard shooting and stuff and I'm like, yeah. There were wolves. <laughs> now there aren't. <laughs> What are you? Are you a little armadillo? <laughs> That's so cute. A little shield blob. Plop, plop, plop. Very cute. I know you're scared, but I don't see the snake, though. Where'd you spook it off to?
Gilly, you confuse me, buddy. I'm just listening for these snakes that I can't see. I'm trying to hone my instrument. You're not typing a whole lot because you're going through things. That's okay. You don't have to type a whole lot. You can just hang out. And that's fine. Happy to have you either way. Main idea is that you're here and comfy. Everything else is bonus. I'm sorry you're going through some stuff. So many little cacti. My poor horse. Lizard. Oh, what's all this?
Just a pair of dudes being guys. Nice. Go check the tip line. Because I haven't actively paid attention to that in a bit. Please keep this door locked for your own safety. Bing. Around for a little bit today. What does that mean? Around for a little bit today if anyone was still looking to catch up with me. Won't be too far from a murder valentine. Mackenzie. That looks like you were hoping to catch Mackenzie at some point. A piece of living ranger history, I think, if I recall correctly. Still need to write that telegram. Hmm. What the holy smoke is? Well, shoot, Tactical. Thank you so very much for the raid, man. Welcome on in. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, raiders. It's good to have you all. I hope you're doing well. How was your stream? What were you streaming? Who were you streaming? For those of you who don't know me... Thank you, Tactical. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, we are in the green now. Yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Chaotic Creative. I'm pretty much a... A wild RP streamer at this point. So yeah, welcome on in. Man said, who are you streaming? Like, I ain't trained him. Listen, it's my spiel. I gots to do it. <laughs> I gots to do it. It's not for me. It's for everybody. Was good, oddly quiet, as Alyssa said. <laughs> yep. You love saying that word, but I literally can't say it in character. The second I say it in character, <coughs> freaking moida. You did some job boards, hunting here and there, patrolling around Emerald and Lemoyne. Awesome. 
I'm surprised you didn't get jumped at Emerald, but that is good news. Very, very good news. You ain't scared of no ghost of Roanoke? It's not even just the ghost of Roanoke, man. Like, everybody's up there. <laughs> like, the bastards have been up there. The frickin... Um, what are the others called? The Doherty gang has been up there. Everybody. Bo was raised in Lemoyne and Roanoke? Uh-huh. So you're like... That's my home, bitches. I get it. That's fair. You ain't scare me off of my home. Roanoke is a lovely place when there's not a killer around. Yeah. I mean, I was up there not knowing that the ghost of Roanoke was a person who kills people, alright? I, I just figured, oh, it's a cougar. I can take care of a cougar. That's fine. Howdy. Yeah, like Shadow of Lemoyne, exactly. I, I sort of drew that parallel. I was like, okay, well, you know, whatever, that's fine. And then Pugsley's like, no, that's a killer, dude. You need to stay the hell away from here. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoops. That was a classic failure to communicate, you know? Everybody's like, oh yeah! Uh... Ghost of Roanoke, yeah, yeah. Nobody said anything else, they're just like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Nobody said anything to the new people. So we're all like... Okay, Ghost of Roanoke, whatever that means. You know, cool. Dangerous, ooh, spooky. And then we hear people, like, openly talk about Shadow of Lemoyne, like it's a panther. It's like, oh, so that's probably what that means. Probably, like, some hard-to-see cougar thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure, why don't I just try to take care of it? It'll be done. Yep, 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 yep. Little did I know. I told some of the recruits afterwards... I've only just seen this snake. Where did it go? Where did it go? I need the snake, goddammit! Crap. How am I liking it out there in New Austin? You might station out there next time because you still need to learn a few routes you're not familiar with. Like, you know them when you see them, but you're getting that muscle memory. I mean, I'm liking it out here just because, like, it's relatively still, and the routes between the towns considering there only are two of them, is really easy to sort of get into your head. It's just... Memorizing the animal dens, I think, is... is a challenging bit, because there's so many of them just all around the crossing, so to keep them in your mind, you sort of need to poke at them. And yeah, I don't know. It's pretty easy to navigate, I feel.
And I'll have to check around the mine as well now that I think about it, because, you know, people being people. So let's pop in here real quick. Normally, there's not really any people in there until, I don't know, like an hour or so from now. But sometimes you got the early birds. You're gonna lurk for a bit. Okie dokie, have a good lurk. I will quite easily enjoy myself. <laughs> don't worry about that. Now we'll see what a bit. Wild rhubarb everywhere. Oh yeah, that little camp up here. Right, right, right. That looks weird. What the hell? Oh, this is the way up to the camp. Okay, okay. I'm sure that's not meant to be menacing or anything like that. It's like a it's like a bounty hunter's hideout. That's pretty cool. Great view from that porch. The one over there. I mean, great view from <laughs> any of these places. This one looks out over the mine very well. So if you ever needed to spy on the mine, this might not be a bad spot. Kind of look into tumbleweed, but obviously LOD doesn't load that far. Not in detail, anyway. Feeling a little woozy.
You can see both of the little camps down there. Sort of look into that that gully. Oh, come on. Anyway, I don't think being up here does anything really for us, so I'm gonna get out of here. Skidoodle. It was a pretty damn good view, though. I will grant you that. That fog rolled in quick. Hot huh, damn. The bot's nice, you know, says hello every so often. <laughs> that, that's totally what it's meant to do. It's not a, not a botched anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that was tumbleweed slightly off to our right. Eh. Don't you fucking feed me to this cat? What the fuck is wrong with you, horse? I 
I said no. Shut up. Oh, look at you saying hi to the to the bot. That is so nice. You're very nice. Putty tat, yeah. A very angry putty tat. So you wanna explain yourself there, Gilly, huh? A little shit. <sighs> I think I'll send you for a walk once we get to the tower. Maybe a little bit after. Stay. What do we got? Oh, injured person. South by you. Ew. East Saint Denis. Somebody's on that though. I just so. And we would never make that in time. Let's go sell a cat and take care of some wolves. Okay. Just slowly walk on top of the rock and then stop. That makes sense.
Gilly is plucky right now. You're sure the cat on the room has nothing to do with it? No, of course not. No. Let's send Gilly on a little bit of a walk here. <laughs> Who had a good run, huh? Let's go see if the wolves are home. I know, Fallen. I promise. It is only trying to be friendly. No, it's trying to run a command. And I know you're having fun with it. Yeah, that's the one. I heard what sounded like wolf barks. I did hear wolf barks. That all of them? Seems like it. I think the third one just ran away.
So yeah, obviously that command is not currently something that matters too much because we're not we're not actively talking to people or anything like that. But whenever I am doing that, you know, this command comes in handy to explain why uh, why I'm not engaging as much. Oh, the other one's right here. There we go. Another potential wolf victim saved from having to be a wolf victim. Hmm, one of them was a timber wolf. That's interesting. I didn't think they would run together. Thank you, Kelly. You did good that time.
See, Gilly becomes really agitated when there's been a snake. Like, really agitated. But I can't always find the snake. And sometimes I can see them beforehand, like I'll see them slithering around. But sometimes I think they just spawn near your horse. At least that's what it feels like. Like suddenly your horse will spook where there was nothing. And then there will be a snake. At least that's what I think. Obviously I'm not a programmer so I don't know. Yeah. Taking too long. Damn cacti! And rocks and cramp. Where is that damn snake? Did I get it? I guess not. I thought for sure I had it. Ah, well. Just over here, Gilly. That's fine. Thank you. In or around Central Big Valley. Um, uh, 
That's around Mount Shannon Strawberry. Which is a bit of a way away as well. I feel like the west is not the best area to station for today. So I may go back to Strawberry. And if that particular thing, that particular tip has not been responded to at that point, we'll take it and go and find that person. Okay, listen. I'm so done with you snakes. Where in the heck did this one go? What, did you just run into another one? Hmm? He totally did. So you ran into a couple of snakes. Please don't let that make you spook through the rest of the time that I'm riding you, okay? I need you to not spook. Actually, 
before I just go... Communication is key. We're sending a telegram to the rangers to let them know that we're going to be headed, headed back to Strawberry. Um, There we go. As long as everybody knows where you are and where you're headed, chances are if anything goes wrong, they'll find you. Uh, we might as well do a quick stop by the ranch to see how things are going there.
Is someone doing work? No horse? That seems peculiar. You can buck me off now, that's fine. Cat's already a dying. You okay? Yep, just fine. Hi, bye. Howdy howdy, how are we doing? Good. I think I'm gonna have enough for a wagon today. That's awesome. Uh-huh. I've been doing so many chores. <laughs> Well, you won't have to do them for a bit, hopefully, then. Yep, then I can just collect all the plants and flowers I want. <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, you can keep going if you're on duty. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> it's good seeing you. You too. Uh, I'll be around Strawberry later. Alrighty, sounds good. I'll see you later. Oh, it's still in the process of dying. Ooh, that's rough. And it just died. All right. Well, gruesome. Nice. I mean, it, it did kill a local, so... You could never play this game. I mean, that's fair. It's not for everyone. Because of that, because you love animals. That's fair. I find that when it's pixels, as long as it's like trying to hurt someone or trying to hurt my character, I don't really have a problem with it. But if it's just out there in the wild doing its own thing, I don't know, man. I did hear about it, yeah, I think, um, I think Triss and Mikib and Danky were playing on it, um, but it seems to have died down in activity very quickly. Yeah, seems like there's just never a lot of people on. I mean, it could be me, right? I don't know, like... My schedule is weird as hell. Just starting out? Hmm. Well, maybe it just needs to get word out then. That might be the main thing.
This one streamer you followed was on the server, said they got open classes and such. Yeah, sounds like it. I sort of seen snippets of their like Excel sheet class building, which seemed interesting. Kind of reminded me of Journey a little bit, but not quite as complicated. Yeah, open classes using points, exactly. There's the kitty cat. So you can install Arc with all the DLCs. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I did time that quite badly. I didn't hit the local though. I managed to get the cat before the local was right there. I wouldn't particularly watch this part. Like, in real life, that next shot was uh, pretty good, actually. Should have killed it instantly. That <laughs> local got scared. Yeah, he was like, Hey, if you want to die, I'll help you die. <laughs> Just completely scared out of his wits. Uh, I think it's funny when they talk shit like that. I'll sell all of this crap and then get rid of the cougar here too.
20 dollars. And 18 more doll hairs. Horse is so pretty, you love the color thing? Kill. Yeah, Gilly is a pretty boy. Or girl, depending on what the server decides. Howdy. Howdy. Okie dokie. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. What are you trying to hitch to? Can we maybe not? Okay. Please be a normal horse. Do normal horse things. Thank you. Alright. We'll go grab a stew because 100% that tip has been resolved. I'll just grab one more so we can eat one right heckin' now. Num. That was a bit rough-handed. Mm. All right, any ongoing? That's me. There we go. We don't need to keep uh, our own telegram there now that we're back. This was responded to, or well, this we got 30 minutes ago. It's being responded to. By Henry. Okay. Well, that person will be fine. Um, whew, sorry for the yawn. Yikes. What are we missing? Anything? Doesn't really look like it. Oh yeah, we should check our guns. A little bit of soot. I'll clean it up. Nope, howdy. Hey. Hey. Oh. Get back. Yep, just returned. You find the person? Yeah. Alrighty. Very it's nice work. It's in Melka right now. Good, good. Wow. 
<laughs> Meow. Uh, let's see, how long have we been on duty? Bum, bum. Yeah, two hours ish. Oh, sorry. I'm drinking from a mug that um, has quickly become my favorite. And it's like... <laughs> it looks like an, an old painting of like a torture scene or whatever. <laughs> And it says, is that all at the bottom? <laughs> um, yeah. That's some... Some pumpkin berry <laughs> merchandise. <laughs> that just... I don't know. It's funny as hell. What is it, Kitty Cat? You're so needy. Cat gets one fish a snake, suddenly it is your cat. I wish I could own the cat. What's going on all back there? No idea. Well, I could see how a horse set in the middle of the road could uh, keep the locals stuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know who that is. There's like three of them over here, but there's only two people in town. Hmm. Must be somebody who hit it out on the back of someone else's horse then.
All right. Um, we're not getting a lot of tips today, which is a little odd, but good. I sort of hope it uh, continues that way. But that does mean that in a couple minutes I may call it quits. Hey, let's move up and lock in. Howdy. Oh, yeah. Howdy. What gotcha? Wolf. Oh. Bad kitty. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got uh, three of them, and I thought I could just jump around them, but uh, of course decided otherwise. I mean, when it comes to the wolves, though, I find horses react oddly. Especially when surrounded, they'll just freeze for a minute, and then once the wolves have firmly pinned you and the horse, that's when the horse bucks you off and runs. Yeah, well, it's been a few weeks, so I reckon it is about due anyways. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, uh, by the way, they're, uh... Doc up there was asking if we could send a few folks up there to call the wolves. I guess they're getting a rabies outbreak up there. Up. Uh, pronghorn? Yeah, pronghorn. All right, we could do a ride by there here soon. Uh, could... Howdy. 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 Here, everything okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Just uh, some nice fresh stitches. Oh, shit, what happened? Wolves. Fucking wolves, man, I'll tell you. I hope some... Oh, yeah, Doc said it ain't too bad. No arterial bleed, just some scratches. Well, that's good. Oh, I'm tired. Day once again. <laughs> Henry's are winning the, the Henry William War, I'll tell you. Gotta tell, gotta tell the Williams to watch out. Yep. Pretty soon there will be... A whole slew of Williams to try and balance it out. No, we just need to get everyone named Jed and Jed. <laughs> I need some some Rays and some Ra Raymonds. And some Ranger Raymonds. Ra Rachels. I don't know. I want a I want a Ray army. Rockwells. No, we don't need any more of them. <laughs> We got, we got enough rock whales. Do we really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything else new with y'all? Nope. Mm, nothing too much. I do think I'm actually going to take a seat. This thing hurts. Yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> Not a bad idea to rest when you've been injured. I would have never guessed. Do you like my outfit, by the way? This is my this is my impersonation of of Davenport. It's strange. yeah, it works. Napping pork, because he's always napping. He's always <laughs> tired. <laughs> Every time I see him, I'm like, how are you? And he's like, oh, a little tired. You uh, expecting trouble, Henry? Hmm. Oh. I was going to be letting it. Hey, Henry always bad. expects tr trouble, because he's, he's Henry. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Who's that, that up true. there? So foggy, I can't see. And who or what? Who? There's a, a who up there somewhere. Oh, Henry's just he's just going. Hi, Henry. Fuck in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your own now, man. <laughs> oh, there's two people up there. I've been really good. I've been I've been doing my range of things. Had my first uh, equine class with the Rangers. That went really well, so I, I'm planning that. Planning my first public one soon. 
Not much else going on, really. Just just been doing my thing. Been learning about herbs. Herbs, I see. Mostly where to find them. Not so much what to do with them. That ain't that ain't me. Why is he raising his hands? Is he get is he getting robbed? I don't think so. Oh no, they're they're deputies. Hold on, I'm no busy. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Cripple, he says. Could you be more dramatic? Yes, I absolutely could. Oh, God. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid of what that looks like. <laughs> nah, it's Wade. Who? Hey? Uh, Wade, we showed up to the crossing together. And he went deputy. And he went deputy and I went ranger. And now whenever I ask him for help, he's too busy to uh to help me out. Yeah, well you took the manly path. Exactly. And that's why you have us. Exactly. <laughs> I got to go to Roanoke last night. I was very happy. I got to go home. Oh. I saw I saw my home. I went in the creepy cave. I did a wellness check and I was like, is anybody in the creepy fucking cave? <laughs> Make yourself known. There was no one in there. There's a new one out there. I, I went there with Davenport to find someone. And okay. you know what? This this new map we have is doing fucking wonders because it was northern Roanoke, right? And it was by And we got to, I wanted to check the Viking tomb first. We were going to start from the north. And I was like, no, I want to check the tomb. There's cougars at the crossing. And I was like, you know, just to be safe, let's go south all the way to the border, and then we can just go north, and then we know we checked everywhere. And then we went down south, and right at the fucking border, there she was, scratches in her back, and I was like, mm. god damn, if we'd have gone north, we probably wouldn't have found her. Oh, look at that. She called me an angel. She said that everything I said was poetry. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure um, you didn't hit your head? <laughs> I wish. I know this map is nice. a lot more detailed. Yeah, it is. More detailed. Mm -hmm. Oh, for some reason, everyone I seem to pick up barely puts two words together. <laughs> they talk in the third person. Oh, I've been very lucky. I, I found four people yesterday. Well, I went on four tips. I found everyone. Uh, I found a lady by Coulter, who was really nice, and then I gave her money for a hotel room. Uh, I found a... <laughs> I, I don't really know what else to say other than like a mariachi man looking guy uh, in Grizzlies East. And then I had to protect him from even more wolves. And then <laughs> and then I found a deputy in Hannigan's and escorted her to Blackwater. And then I found uh, the lady in Roanoke with Davenport. Hmm. It was a pretty good day, actually. I was meant to yeah, do, do, do like paperwork, but now I'm going to do that today, I guess. <laughs> Trying to get through these lessons. I've written four of them. I'm working on another one now. I need to get with uh, Allegra. What about? Oh, her map about uh, the predators and how recent and oh, accurate. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, if it's recent and it's accurate, I can just skip to two and start getting all the herbivores. Yeah, my, I have a full map of the dens, but I, I mean, I've been working on it for years. I don't know when I last up it, though. It's about two years next month, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm oh. gonna see if we can have a party for me and Hal, cause Hal, uh, I think we missed Hal's. Hal's was this month. Oh. And mine is next month, so we can have a little two-year party, ranger party. Heck yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. Hell yeah. That was a very delayed response, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Love the enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's look at this stuff. Yeah. How dare you. Not loud. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm going to head around the back and work on this paperwork. Uh, Alright. If you see a man called Clay... He wears blue, he's got little tiny glasses. If he comes looking for me, 
send them send them to me. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah, whatever they were. Yeah. Well, Pat, you mind joining me on a trip to Valentine? I don't mind at all. Still need to bring these herbs up to the medical office. All right. Can't. I got uh, I got that gun cell I wanted me to put together for a senior ranger. All right. I need fourteen hundred dollars for a navy. Whew. Yep. Let me tell you, it is nice. I'll bet for fourteen hundred dollars, it better be Dan. Well, I'm sorry, it ran me thirteen. He's got to spend another hundred on this uh, inscription. That's fair. But still, like fourteen hundred total, right, that's yeah. a hell of that, a bill. That is, yeah, that, that's that's with the cost of the gun. Too. I bought the gun and then I got it. I got with the uh, the blacksmith over in Saint Denis. Hmm. It should be ready uh, by this weekend. Very nice indeed. I'm gonna take the right here. All right. Forgive me for not running around. These stitches are kind of fresh. I don't mind. I'd rather you uh, be careful and take care of that wound than uh, you running around tearing it open and having to have it stitched again. Oh yeah. At least it ain't Fletcher. He'd been he'd been mad at me. Hmm. Did not just tell you to take it easy, you dumb son of a bitch. But yes, you did. Yeah, I mean, they tell me that all the time, but... I don't know. As long as I it's can do a... the thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just a little bit of pain. He said he stitched up pretty good. He got it covered and bandaged. I ain't worried about getting it dirty. Hmm. Uh, and my arms are still good, so I reckon, you know, come tomorrow, I'll be good to go. That gives me to dance. do a little bit of research, work on paperwork and stuff that. I ain't behind, but there's stuff I need to figure out, put together. No, that's fair enough. Unless y'all reckon y'all want to get that colon out of the way. I got some, uh, I got some spite left in me for these little bastards. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be something they want to take care of sooner rather than later, but we'll see. We'll have to ask that once we get back. I went up, I picked up some milkweed up in uh, by St. Denis in Le Moyne. Mm -hmm. A panther jumped out at me. <laughs> little fucker thought it had me. I was watching it sneak up on me. Popped it straight in the head. Perfect <laughs> shot. Nice work. Yeah, I was looking at it. I was like, I swear to God, that's a panther. And sure as shit, I hear rare, rare, rare. Oh, boy. Yep. Well, I shot the one in New Austin, not too far from Tumbleweed. Oh, good, good stuff. And then the one that's uh, at McFarland's. It came out. It attacked one of the local people there. And then came around and tried to attack me, and I blasted it. Just once, like just in between the front of its legs under its chin. And it I, uh, stumbled away, sort of bled out slowly. Hey, that's its problem. Honestly, I have not had a problem with any wildlife since I started just using my bolt action, but 
course the one time I had my Lancaster out, it doesn't put the wolf down right away. And there I am, all sorts of fun. Yeah. That'll always be the way of it. Same thing, like, yeah. whenever I decide I want to keep my navy hidden for a bit, chances are that's when I'll need it the most. I'm going to be honest with you, that is, like, the one thing that I don't part with. Uh, I'll, I'll store I'll store my bolt action, but uh, the navy stays on, because it's, it's an SCRC. Hmm. That's fair. Not, not that I want to risk losing it, but, uh... No, I get it. Has too much emotional value. Yeah. Some people thought I was upset when I couldn't find my rifle. God forbid I lost this navy. Hmm. I'd be burning down Valentine. <laughs> now, granted, I'd do that for shits and giggles. I mean, I think any of us would want to do that for shits and giggles at some point. That town's got problems. Yes, it does. But, you know, being the law, the law abiding folk we are. Oh, obviously, would never follow through with the desire. No, nah, but. We gotta be honest with ourselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does sort of play in our heads, yeah. I would like to make as quick of an exit as possible, unless you got business to attend to there. I do not, fortunately. Unless I see a certain someone, in which case... I really hope there's law if that person is there. <laughs> Why is that? Because I'd be liable to draw a weapon and end their life. Well, I'll vouch for you. I'll say it was provoked. They've been stalking Atticus for a while. Now they're also doing the same to Miss Blackwell, uh, who's the librarian and uh, the person who runs the Momo Market. Are they just a creeper, or are they up to no good? They've openly stated they intend to harm them both. Well, I reckon that is the defense of another person putting them down. Nah, I don't want to risk my position for it, though. No, absolutely not. But, I mean, if you see them doing something that puts someone else in danger, uh, I reckon we got rope for a reason. Mm hmm. You know, I had a feller call me out the other day. Oh? Said he, he wanted a duel just because I was wearing the green. Said he oh. had a problem with this. <laughs> what in the hell? Yeah, I told him, partner, I ain't got no time for this shit. This, <laughs> is, or this uh, crossing's burning down. We had like four tips coming in. I was like, partner, as much as I would love to end your life for your stupidity, <laughs> I have responsibilities. Yep. Yeah. At the crossing service at all times. Never ends. Never does. I mean, even if we aren't on duty and we're just out, you know, spending time with friends or just riding around a bit, even then we see somebody injured. Oh, you, you, you know. You do it. Yeah. It's a calling. It really is. We don't do it for the money, that's for damn sure. I mean, fuck no. If anybody does it for the money, I don't know how the hell they're doing it. No, it's with the uh, pick-up side jobs here and there to get by. I mean, we yeah. get by on our state pay. We ain't got to pay for ammo or oil or bandages or nothing like that, so that's nice. Yeah. But even then, there's other expenses that it just simply does not cover. No, no, like rent. Yeah, rent is a big one. 500 bucks a month. Oh, okay. Mine's only like 189. A month? Where at? Uh, per no, well, it's 181 per week. No, oh, sorry, so. 183 a week. 
133 per week. All right. So, yeah, actually, mine would be worse then. <laughs> you staying over in St. Denis? Uh, no, Blackwater. Oh. Yeah, I mean, but I know a lot nice of... nice there. The rooms are really nice. Oh, my God. Really plush couch in there. The bed is... I don't even know how to describe it other than it's like floating on a cloud. Oh. Mine gets the job done, and it's nearby, so... Yeah. If I didn't have people I consider to be non-blood family, I'd probably move to, to a cheaper place, but I'd rather be close to the people I love. Oh, that's understandable. Everyone I interact with wears the green, so... No, that's or fair. gray. <laughs> yeah. That's just family that ain't got green yet. Yeah. Alright, I reckon it might be around the back. Might be inside too. Well, alright. Sorry. No, you're good. Can make a prompt exit. Alrighty. Seems a bit busy around here. A little bit. We can cut through behind the stables here. been lucky heading to Blackwater. I only ran into that cougar twice out of hmm. many trips. Yeah, I ran into it uh, on my way back from New Austin. But, yeah, it wasn't too much trouble. I nearly shot a local in their coach, though, because they, uh, for some reason, they made no sound. And as I was lining up the kill shot, there they were. That's probably the scariest thing this week. Yeah, some of these locals are uh, too careless for their own good. Really are. Alright, this particular route, if I recall, is going to be a bit of a weird one. Because the road yep. sort of just ends at one point, and then we'll have to go over the hill... And past the main house of the homestead up there on the right. Yep. Uh, it's always nice coming for a ride along the water. Yeah, I feel like it is. Something calming about seeing the water just sort of glide by. Mm-hmm. Hearing it, too. Yeah. Just it colliding with the rocks while he's hitting the shore. Yeah. The scenic route. The scenic route peaceful edition. <laughs> I 
There we go. Yeah. It's also a pretty nice ranch. It is. I ain't never come out and worked up here, though. Nor have I, but I feel like I wouldn't mind it at all. No, I don't think I would. Sure. Every now and then I head up to uh, Emerald Ranch and do a little bit of work up there. Hmm. Whenever I do ranch work, it tends to be at McFarland's. Never worked out there, but I uh, wouldn't be opposed to it. It's alright. I mean, You'll occasionally get a distraction from the ranch work there, either because the cougar up there goes nuts, or because the locals drag in a pack of wolves. Yeah, they have a habit of that. Oh. Emerald ain't too bad if you uh, don't mind people just popping off rounds around there sometimes. Hmm. Emerald's kind of cursed for me. The bulls up there are just gravitating towards me for some reason. Oh yeah, they're assholes. I, I punched a, one I one had, time. <laughs> I had a bull charge me one time. Oh, yeah. I've been down by them. I reckon it wasn't wrestling. It was just fighting back with slit his throat. But... Yeah. Well, sometimes if you're lucky, you know, if they're sort of calming their temperament, but they're still kind of looking at you like they're about to charge... If you can get them with a lasso, they'll get spooked and sort of run away from you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it, obviously last resort, but if they're going around hitting people, they gotta go. Yeah, exactly. No, you can just get them calm and spook them and get them out of the way. It's fine. Yeah. I noticed uh, signs of some wrestling up at that uh, pig farm by uh, Flatneck. Hmm. Yep, there has been some of that going on. There's also been some wrestling of uh, the sheep up at Emeralds. I didn't even realize you could wrestle sheep. I didn't realize either, but then there you go. You know, my least favorite thing about working on the ranch, though, is feeding the chickens. Jesus Christ. They never want to eat. Yeah, they just sort of stand there looking at everything from afar like, What are you doing, human? What? Like, fucking munch on the seed, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, it, like, don't get me wrong. When there's like eight, nine, ten of them hanging out, oh, it ain't no problem. But if there's only three of them out and about, bets are off. Might yeah. as well just keep well, not always. Like sometimes you can angle yourself so that you hit a spot where they will actually sort of waddle over to. But it might take you a couple of tries to get the seed in exactly the right spot. Yeah. Which again, it's a little tedious, but end yeah. of the day. I did find I did find that uh, if you put the bag down in between feedings, you get uh, more luck. Ah. Huh. That's very good to know. I've also found with sheep shearing, a lot of people just sort of go and stand next to them, try to get them that way, but that doesn't really work. What you gotta do is, when you're standing next to them, you gotta angle yourself slightly forward so you're at a diagonal, and then they never get away. Like, they'll run right into the spot you need them to be as you're finishing your grab. Perfect. I tend to just corner them. That's fair, yeah. I think a lot of people end up doing that. But I like the sort of finesse of angling myself. Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't know, makes me feel like <laughs> like a smooth operator. Oh yeah. When I bump into Sal, him and I are gonna need to head over to the gunsmith, check on uh check on that gun. All right. It. Fourth after old Bo gets a bath and needs it. Good brushing. Yeah, after Valentine, every horse does. Oh yeah. I reckon I do with a bath myself. But <laughs> might just wash off on the sink. Maybe in the creek. Maybe I'll go for a swim. And up to you. No, I probably will not. I bet the water's nice and cold, though. Probably is. Probably hurt like hell on those stitches, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Absolutely. Oh, howdy, howdy. Howdy. How are we doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Me, I'm not too bad. Start. Go on, let's hear it. <laughs> I just woke up and I'm just <laughs> reading through paperwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A few interesting tidbits in there. I was on duty just a few hours ago, but updates. <laughs> You're already back. Mm -hmm. Howdy. Howdy. How are you doing today? Well, better than some works than others. An oddly diplomatic answer. <laughs> but it's not wrong. Well, no. And it works. Two people responding to Central Heartland. Who's gone to that? Sal and Rain. All right, Sal and Rain are on a Central Heartlands call. All right. We can talk to them about that call when they get back. 
Yep, yep. Do you mind giving the door a nudge? Thank you. Actually, wait a minute. Don't log it. <laughs> Somehow just feels tight up there. I don't know. What's wrong with up here? I don't know. I feel claustrophobic up there. The only place I don't feel like that is uh, where the railing is, because it's nice and open. Oh, you can stand there. Well, I mean, nothing wrong with it. No, but then I can't hear everybody necessarily. Oh, we got dark. Yep. Apparently, that's how a day-night cycle works. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's dark during the day. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's night. No, that's called the weather. Yep. When it's foggy, sometimes it looks like it's dark, but... You know... Sometimes you also have very bright lights. Yeah. yeah. That's called daytime. I think a very bright night just means it's a full moon out. Moon's out, goon's out. <laughs> Blood Moon. Mm -hmm. Who's bleeding up there? About a week long Blood Moon. It was kind of spooky. Sounds spooky. What the hell? Yep. But weird things happened and animals were behaving really strange. Oh, great. That's fantastic. I can't wait to experience that someday. Can we talk about the fact that Gator's got red eyes? That is unnatural. <sighs> you, you didn't know? No, I knew. <laughs> I knew. It just ain't right. Nothing with red eyes is right. I mean, there are rabbits with red eyes. And that is why I kill rabbits, too. Okay, yeah, makes sense. I mean, if I had to choose something to fear between a gator's red eyes and a, a murder cat's yellow eyes, I know which one to pick. You know what? I think I'm going to take those yellow eyes. But you know what? Yellow eyes is just as bad. Yellow means jaundice, and jaundice ain't good. That's why they're so ornery. <laughs> sure. Has nothing to do with the fact that they're natural predators. Oh, no. Nothing like that. Mm -hmm. They're just ill. And you're putting them out of their misery. <laughs> yeah.
Some nice little fireflies. <laughs> Come listen to the creek for a minute. Sure. And me, what are you doing? Well, I guess their business had concluded. Which business? No idea. But they walked into town all slow, like walked up towards like the welcome center and the, the sheriff's office, and then I don't know when they reached the telegrams office. Suddenly, they started running. <laughs> Well, okay, that's not suspicious at all. No, not in the slightest. Perfectly normal behavior. That sounded like a slight relief. Yep. <laughs> Although I, I still need to wait for Rain to come back. Oh, uh, yeah. Hoping that Mackenzie is still here. Fingers crossed, I guess. to be more erratic than Fallon. At least during <laughs> <in> communication. <laughs> yeah. That was me for a good time. Uh, 
Has anything of interest happened during your day so far? Ow. <laughs> I mean, maybe that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, nothing really too interesting. I was around in uh, New Austin for the most part, and uh, just sort of sat at the tower for a bit, looking out at the view, and then when night fell, I'd go out and check if the animal dens were active and cull what needed culling. And after a while, I just came back here. And it's been pretty quiet the entire time through. <laughs> you said the word. I did say the word, but you know why. <laughs> because I'm here? Yeah, you provide immunity. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. If you, Silas, or Sal aren't here, I cannot say that word. Wait, what word did you say? Quiet. Quiet. Oh, I fucking hate that word. <laughs> yep. I'm telling you, if one of them three are not here, I simply cannot say it, or I will unleash a hell upon this crossing. <laughs> Joke's on you, it's my day off. <laughs> Fair. You're holding up the tip line all by yourself. No, wow. I, I can. I can put on the poncho to go kill a few wolves with the frog horn, but... Uh... Oh, uh, you were not around for that. Uh, I guess there's a rabies outbreak over at Froghorn. Yeah, right? yeah, I've, I've read. As it was suspected. That is pretty rough. Yeah, there were suspicion about wolves having rabies. How far bit that would go? And now that the results are in, then we better adjust the corpses. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where are you seeing that? I wasn't seeing anything that got written up. I'm looking in general news. Uh, no, it was discussed between us oh. here. Oh, okay, okay. I am sure Therese will write up something whenever she wakes up. But generally, you don't want to get bitten, so stay far away from wolves. Get high, high up as now on a well, rock. That's the that's wear the something like a not short sleeve, but put your sleeve down. If anything, at least, and possibly gloves. So if they even bite you, <laughs> it doesn't pass through. And then once you've cooked them, just burn the corpses. I got uh, scratched up and bitten today. By wolves? Yep. Or which wolves? Uh, good question. The ones uh, just northwest of here. So close to one or one jiggler? Uh, closer to Wallace. Ah, okay. Hold, yeah. hold on, let me let me check. Yeah, so, uh...
north northern Big Valley. Uh, close to the wall, so not too close to Proghorn. Okay. Hoping it had, I'm hoping it hadn't made its way down there. I guess we'll find out. Those, those were tested and came out clean. All right, or good. was it in all three? I don't remember. The dog didn't seem too concerned when I told him where, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All righty. Howdy. Morning. Uh, could you speak up a bit, Mason? Uh, you're a bit quiet for me. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I can. Oh, there we go. Pick it up. Uh, did you get the telegram for the Rangers? We were just talking about the situation, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. All right. I I just wanted to make sure that you all were aware. Um, I did warn folks that well, i warned sammy who said she was going to warn the rest of the folks um i basically just advised wear thicker leathers uh avoid wolves as much as possible, even though that's pretty sure that's impossible at pronghorn um, yeah but yeah and actually uh an under sheriff actually we kind of ran into a wolf on its own uh I took a blood sample. Actually, the body's still over by the stairs, but I think I may even try to take that down to St. Denis to get tested. Hmm. But, all right. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you all were aware, and it was climbing up in the chain, so to say. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think we're trying to figure something out right now. All right. Yeah, I saw something in the uh, tip line about it. Uh, prong on it. This is their balls around prong on, I take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, uh, tall trees came back all negative. Uh, this kind of wolf that I found, uh, it was at like Sorry. the very beginning of Big Valley. So, well, we're in Big Valley right now. <laughs> which, which, which beginning of Big Valley? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <I meant> like... <laughs> yeah, uh, so like the actual valley part. Like the one that towards the window, or no Valentine. Rigs end. Yeah, rigs. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Right by that. Uh. That house for sale. Oh yeah. Okay. Is that? Yeah. yeah. But. Right, if it's one on its own, it's probably been part of a pack that's either been partially killed or uh, been chasing somebody, and it's just got separated. Mm hmm. I mean, it could be. It's just, I don't know. One on its own, yeah. being super aggressive. I was just yeah, the signals well. are unusual, but uh, yeah. I mean, if it's being super aggressive and it's on its own, definitely worth getting checked out. Oh, mm -hmm. They were uh, they were pretty aggressive up by M Marino. I saw seven of them chasing locals. Looks like two, yeah, two yeah. Pack, it looks like two packs got together. Well, I saw a pack of eight yeah, well. off by Pronghorn a few weeks ago. Um, that didn't look like two packs. That looked like one pack. And uh, Clay did say they've been getting some big packs around there, six to ten. Jesus. Yep. Howdy. Evening. I'm good. You all right, Henry? See, so you've been busy. A little bit. Yeah. But, all right, yeah, I just want to make sure you all were aware. And uh, if you need anything from my side or you want to take more samples, uh, I think uh, I'll tell you what. Am I able to uh, have a syringe in this doctor's office right here? Uh, yeah. If we uh, if we head out to deal with any, I'll uh, I'll draw some blood samples for you. All right, yeah, and I believe uh, I forget who it was, uh, but there has been a ranger who has been doing. Uh, most of the samples and they just take it straight to Saint Denis. Well, I don't uh, know where to bring the Saint Denis. Yeah, all right. So yeah, I can do the same thing or yeah, let that ranger know, but yeah. I you guess know which one? Uh 
I'm pretty sure it's in the paperwork. Give us a second. Yeah. Yeah, it could could be Ronia. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds right. I'm talking about the wolves that were pronged, I just took two of them out. So if I wouldn't know, I would have grabbed the samples or at least the body. Yeah, Ronia has been doing most of the research with Therese right. overseeing, so. Hmm. All right. But yeah, because I guess I'm now the project lead, but. I don't know. Right, I'm just going to grab the telegram and stick that in the file. All right. Um, all right, but yeah, you guys all stay safe and, uh, yeah. Oh, we'll do you as well. Yeah, thank you. You didn't see no white foam around those uh, the mouth of those wolves you picked me up from, did you? Me? I didn't see no. I didn't either. I just want to be sure. Speaking of, I actually think I'm going to go change out of these pants. Still got blood on them. Reports updated. And I'm going to put something in the general news as well. All right. Well, I'm gonna give that off for a bit. Alright. Alright. Take it easy. Okay. Well, stay safe. Yeah. Take care. No, I don't know. Nope. Right. Well, uh, I'm up for running up around Pronghorn and seeing all we need to take out, if anybody else is. Yeah, I'll join. Yeah. I'm happy to. Okay, Doc. I'll write something up. Uh, let me, uh, on the clock on.
we know if it's just the walls around Pronghorn or whether it's the uh, the, the wider northern Big Valley area? Uh, I think Pronghorn's the focus, but uh, I'll go grab a syringe real quick, and if we come across any others, I'll draw some blood sample. Yeah. So I have I a couple of syringes on me. Dog as well. Yeah, I had a job to uh, extract some blood from the snakes that I found, but I only found like one or two, so I still have a couple syringes left. Alright. Well, I'll put it, I'll put it down for Pronghorn and Hanging Dog just to be on the safe side. Alrighty. Hanging Dog as well. So we've got me, um... Alright, who all's coming along? Just to make sure. Uh, that'd be me, Pat Riley. Yeah, 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 then... Okay. Yep. That's fine. Well, just double confirming. Because you never know. brain's gone. Who was that over there? Was that JT? Yeah, it was. Thought it was. grab three myself figured we can at least draw at least from one wolf every pack but if we got more we can yeah all right i've got two medical bags um they all they all set for bags and there's a crate full of them in the uh, office uh, i do think i need one more on my horse i have two medical bags and four bandages That reminds me, I need to. I mean, I always carry 10 bandages, just. Yeah, I got, so 10, excited. Bandages. I got 10 bandages, I got 100 rifle rounds in my belt and stock as well. And, uh, I got right my leg. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got. Uh... Hey, just oh, yeah. in case, yeah. if you guys need any more syringes, uh, just go through me. Uh, I'll just get them supplied. Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. Do you, Do you want to be reimbursed for that or? No. No. You sure? Yeah. It's just fifteen bucks. I ain't worried about it. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. But yeah. Uh. Yeah. Just let most medics know. I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if you're in a pinch, then you can do it. But yeah, I'll. I'll Y'all get them at a state rate or? Uh. No. No. It's don't just. Worry about it. uh, well, I mean, it's a government project, like government employees all right all right i just wanted to extend the invitation so i do appreciate it but uh, appreciate we're, work, yeah, we're working together on it so all right yep yep again stay safe out there but we good will. luck we will all right so we'll loop around ong up that way up to pronghorn uh check out hanging dog and then head across the rigs check in there and then probably come back the same way uh, uh, we just to make waiting. sure we got a way to burn these wolves once we're done with them. Uh, you know, it's really fucking tricky, but uh, I reckon hack them to pieces and actually I might even have a campfire kit on my uh, horse. I do have a campfire kit on me. Mm, no, it's on the other horse. Uh, I'm sure we can find enough sticks up there to make one if we need one. I've, I've, got, I've got a campfire kit on me. Oh, right, yeah, cool. And if we need another one, we can... Uh, yeah. I'm sure there'll be enough bushes around to gather the sticks needed. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's saddle Good. up. Take care of each other. We will. We will.
One to one, you heard. Hurt. I think I just hit the fourth one. Well, yeah, that one just sort of ran under your feet, so. Yeah. That's pretty naughty. Yeah. We'll be pissy at you though, but whatever. I mean, that's cats, right? That's cats. Yeah, right. Right. right herd. So is it is it just gray wolves or is it timber wolves in the area too? The packs are out in daylight, got bigger problems. I can't hear what he's saying. Something about daylight being timber wolves. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Are are we worried yeah, about the timber wolves there. having rabies too? If we come across any, we'll throw them up. Right, it seems. Wagon. Wagon scene. We're gonna see how much them dogs hate cat food. <laughs> Are you currently the owner? I am. see anybody around. Uh, I'm just going to post a note by the uh, job board. Um, All right. Get people's attention if uh, they're coming here looking for work. Yeah, I reckon it will. Now, what do you use to, uh, to post these notices up? I never seem to have any luck. Just uh, pages from a notebook. notebook. You can tear the pages out. Oh, can you? Yep. You'll have to cut really close to the the edge of the page, you know, in the the center of the book. Oh, yeah, it literally but. says tear here on it, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Granted, it is kind of fine print. Sure. Pull over here and we'll relieve myself.
I'm just trying to find the right. There we go. That'll do. Oh, God damn it. Pronghorn's got a node up there that can't put it right next to theirs. Um, let's hmm. see. I'll put it over here. I'll put it over here, maybe. Yeah, because they've got their one on the post there. I can't, don't really want to take theirs down, so... Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I'll put it on the side of the barn. Hopefully people will notice. Hopefully. Right, what do we know about wolf dens in this area? Oh, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is a school day. Let's see, we're up here by Proghorn. That means we're going to have one right here at the corner. We've got two northwestern Big Valley. Yeah, so basically down there and then up here behind us. Yeah, yeah, we do have uh, the, what, five over by Owengila that we didn't come across? Six? Yeah, yeah, there's plenty on the way up from Owengila. I think the only one I'm probably concerned about... Uh, what the fuck is going on with the case? Okay. Just... <laughs> maybe this is my eyes. It's, it's moving all by itself. Um, uh, you know... Do you know the mine entrance? Uh, just south... West? I do not. Uh, okay, yeah. so... On the tracks uh, south of here, there's the path that leads up into the mountains. Uh, below the big of Big Valley. At the end of that, there's a mine shaft, which people use to uh, go mine for coal and such like. Um, about halfway down that track, back towards the main road, there's another wolf den there. That's probably the one that's closest to here, so it's the one that's most likely to have any spread. The problem is, if it spreads to that, it could spread to the other dens towards the towards Orangita itself. So uh, there is also one to the uh, to the west. Yeah. Of that approach. Yeah. So if it spreads from Pronghorn down to those, then uh, we've potentially got a bigger problem as it could spread even further from there. Alright, so let's do what we can to prevent that from happening. Yep. Yeah, the other thing I'm slightly concerned about is bears can catch rabies as well. Oh, boy. Well, if we come across any, we'll collect some samples and pass on the info. Yeah, I, I think I think it's unlikely that I mean, we don't really see the bears and wolves here come into conflict. So the most likely way would be if uh, people are leaving wolf carcasses around and a bear comes across it and tries to eat they it. They are. Yeah, okay. Came across three wolf carcasses two days ago. All right. Okay, so we probably need to get something out, um, a message, maybe in the paper or something. I think there's a new article out tomorrow. It's probably too too late to get one in tomorrow's edition. Yeah. Um, we need to get something to the newspaper, I would say, to tell people that if they are killing wolves around Big Valley, they need to make sure that the carcasses are disposed of. And at worst, hacked to pieces and thrown to the side, preferably burnt. Yeah, are, we, are we burning their uh, their pelts too, or are we just cutting up every bit? Well, well the, the question I, I'm asking is like, when we pass on this information, are they needing to dump the pelts, or? I think it's going to be a hard ask to have people to dump the pelts. Okay. Um, the uh, I'm more concerned that there's not carcasses around for the bears to feed on than anything else. Yeah. So if people are taking the pelts with them and, uh, and chopping the bodies up into little bits and whatever, then fine. But also probably not oh, actually not cooking and eating any of the meat from Big Valley. Fuck. Okay. All right. Well, um, we'll talk to the ask. senior. Yeah, we'll talk to the seniors about that and uh, how we get communicated because that's a big problem. If that problem if that does happen. Mm, yeah. 
All right. We probably won't see any walls around about now, although the sun looks like it's on its way down. So if we just take a gentle ride across the valley uh, towards Briggs, and then we'll see what we find on the way back. Easy enough. Oh, there's somebody flying past. Uh, no, that's no, just, a just a wild, wild horse. horse. There's a wagon behind us. Yes, there is. Good day. Hi. So, are we here for the bull? Ah, uh, yeah. I assume you've heard that you've got the news. Yeah, Emmett, uh, uh, medic Emmett uh, told me. Yeah. Um, I sent telegrams to everyone that works for Pronghorn and Hanging Dog and, you know, closer friends of them, uh, of us, I mean, since I work for them now. Um, uh, so I made them all aware, and I'm going to be writing uh, notes, plastering them around here, and just, like, informing people, like, hey, wolves have rabies. Here's what to yeah, do and yeah. what not to do. So I, I've posted a quick warning notice up on, on the barn over there. Um, mm -hmm. Feel free to rip that one down if you've got something slightly more constructive than my hasty scribbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, I asked Emmett all of the questions and I gave he gave me like full full rundown of, uh, of everything. So I'm going to be putting all of that in the note and just like putting that up. Yeah, I think uh, a concern that's just come to me is people, right. Cooking the meat should destroy any trace of disease mm -hmm. in it, but... Uh, and the other one is, if people are leaving wolf carcasses around, bears might feed on them, and bears can catch rabies too. And the yeah. last thing we fucking want is rabid grizzlies running around. I, yeah, I just... Uh, when I, I arrived here, um, like, half an hour, 40 minutes ago, um, and as I rode in from uh, from the, um, the big house back there, uh -huh. uh, I... The bear started running after me. The thing is, it didn't utter a single sound. It just started running. And usually, if you stay close to the big house when you come from that side, it doesn't, you know, see you. It doesn't really care about you. But yeah. it just started running and didn't do anything. It didn't say anything. Uh, say, I mean, it didn't roar. It didn't growl. Nothing. It just started running. Okay, that is peculiar. Yeah. All right, Sammy. Well. Keep yourself safe, yeah? And uh, we'll, be, we'll be around in about Big Valley for, I don't know, the next half hour, 40 minutes or so. Alright, I, uh, I appreciate it. We'll take a quick look, see if the grizzly's there, and mm -hmm. uh, see if he's behaving himself. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to, I think, honestly, we need to try and not disturb the grizzlies uh, yeah. as usual, unless we see signs that something else is going on with them. I don't really want to be sending people out on grizzly culls, because that's fucking yeah. dangerous. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, yeah, I would rather that doesn't happen either. Alright, we'll go check on, the, check on the bear, and uh, mm -hmm. me, and we'll check over by Siren's Cave as well. Um, Alright. And the the three north of fucking hanging dog, for fuck's sake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. they're, they're, yeah, there's like a bunch of dens like on the main road, and there's more dens on in that four tree line, and there's just dens everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the fire is so indeed by itself. Oh, Lord. All right, well, well, we'll try and control this. There's and, six. Uh, see how... I don't know. Well, I'm, I don't count them. Yeah, okay, the sixth one's a bit far north. I wouldn't count that about yeah. OMG this specifically. That's fair. All right. All right, look after yourself, Sammy. We'll be yeah. back around in a bit. Yeah, wish you all luck. Be careful. Stay safe. Will do. All right. Uh, if you don't know Sammy, she's kind of like the Rangers' unofficial secretary. Oh. She's not a member of the Corps, but uh, she does a lot of work with us, and uh, she's a good friend to us, a lot of people. She smelled like honey. Okay. Oh, no, like, like, Grizzly. no, like, no, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Like, she smelled like she was just working with bees. I see, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he looks like he's found something to eat. Alright, he's far enough away, he shouldn't be a problem. So, uh, well. Do you see the bear? Yeah. Yeah. It's just behind the fence. Other oh, side there of the it fence, is. By the yeah, trees. yeah, you just heard him. Yep. Well, uh, we do need the sample, anyways. 
Yeah, I'd leave him alone. He, uh... He's just found something to eat. He's behaving normally, so I would uh, leave him alone. If it, if it was the one that Sammy was talking about that had come charging at her despite being far enough away, then definitely, but that's just a bear being a bear. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. move away before we disturb him. All righty. Yeah, still very much just doing its thing. Yeah, he's just bearing around. Yeah. Hey, Sammy. Say again? Uh, <laughs> good old Grizzly's up there. He's just yeah. uh, he's just chomping on something. He's behaving entirely normally. Right. He is quite close to the fence, so uh, just yeah. keep an eye out, yeah? Yeah, I will. Thank you. No problem. Keep yourself safe. Yeah, you too. Thank you all. Absolutely. No worries. Take care. Opposite us now, uh, and then sweep up to the right into the trees yeah, there. Enough. Heard. About Siren's Cave? Uh, no, I don't. I don't reckon I'm actually sure. So up in, up that way, just up the track, you can follow a little track up into the, uh, up towards the mountain. And there's a cave in there. It's called Siren's Cave uh, because if you go far enough in, you can hear what sounds like singing. It's oh. probably it's just wind whistling through the rocks, but it does sound like singing. Uh, there's a grizzly that lives uh, up there, and uh, he's known as the Protector. He uh, sits outside the cave most of the time. He does oh. occasionally roam down this far, so he's worth keeping an yes, eye out for. Yes, he does, because he has charged me oh, three days ago, maybe four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the cave, um, people used to mine there. Uh, less common these days. It, um, it's not a coal mine. I'm not sure what you do get out of it. I just know it's not coal. Oh, well, maybe flint? I don't know. I'm not really a miner myself. Uh, not me. All right. Let's uh, check the den over that way, and then we'll go over towards Hanging Dog. All right. Now, if this pack's around, I usually find them behind the little hut. Worth noting, actually, we won't go up there now, but um, up that way, uh, sort of up the hill from here, and directly up, uh, you can get up onto the uh, the top of the cliff, and there's a little uh, abandoned camp there. It makes quite a nice lookout over the whole valley. Oh, right. So you have, yeah, you have to walk the end of it, because it's not great terrain for the horses, but uh, it's quite a nice place to visit when you're not doing something else. All right, let's head over to Hanging Dog. Uh, we'll check the couple of grizzlies uh, north of Hanging Dog, and then we'll sweep across the valley. All right. I just want to make sure there's nobody working there and uh, hasn't heard the news. Not sure if the folk that work. 
we're trying to make it a going concern are still active or not. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, I couldn't hear you. What was it? Uh, there was a there was a group that were trying to make um, uh, make a concern, going concern of hanging dog, but uh, they were getting so much trouble from the northwest gang. I think they might have given up. Uh, Law also had a pretty big shootout here about a week ago. Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, might have been over a week now, maybe ten days. Okay. Ranger Corps, anybody around? Range Cross and Ranger Corps, anybody here? Oh, barn's in here. Okay, just gonna check the house. Is that a pack out here up on the hills? Uh, did it echo? If it echoed, they're up in the mountains. Oh, might have echoed. Yeah, yeah. It's generally how you can tell. Saints crossing Ranger Corps, or anybody inside, please make yourself known. Saints crossing Ranger Corps, this is Ranger Henry Cavendish performing a wellness check. If there's anybody inside the building, please make yourself known. Saints crossing Ranger Corps, this is Ranger Henry Cavendish. I'm about to enter the building. I am armed for my own protection. Please do not shoot. If I see you with a weapon, you may be treated as a threat. Entering the building now. Clear. Heard. Check it around the back. Little side building's also clear. All right. Yeah, no sign anyone's been here anytime recently. Which is both good news and bad news. Good news because there's nothing bad going on. Bad news because we might have found a trace of something bad going on. Hmm. Hmm. Well, with the, uh, all the missing persons reports we're getting. Right, we'll swing up slightly to the northeast. Heard. Check on the grizzlies there. Ideally not disturb them. Um, actually see if the pack that's up on the, the mound there is around. Swing right and head up this hill. Heard. There's a den the other side, so just be aware. Fucking muskrats. Yeah. Noisy little bastards. It's the little thump as they roll over and play dead that makes me laugh. <laughs> that is pretty good. Swing. Ah, hang on, hold up, hold up. Nope, that's a deer. That's fine. Ha! <laughs> you thought it was a bear? Yeah, just the, uh... Oh, no, that is a bear, though. That one is a bear on the left, yeah. 
Just on the top of that hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's not rabbit. There's a fucking elk stag there, and he's not gone for it, so... Yeah, he's yeah. minding his own. He's yeah, munching yeah. on a bush. Yeah. I'd say I don't know. Fine. Yeah, I'd say he's fine. Okay, we're gonna swim right. Keep away from him. No need to bother him if we don't need to. No. He's fine. Yeah. Clearly not hungry. He's being a good old boy. Oh. No, he's not. He just grabbed me. Yep. Wolves now left. Yep. Yeah. Wanna take a sample? Should be one more around here. Where is that? Oops. Yep, looks yeah. like it. I, uh, got it. Yeah, no, I, uh, just, I even skip it to see if I can get my, uh, cleaver through it, but, uh... Yeah, sometimes you just have to pick him up and move him a step or two. Then you can get a good angle to chop him up. Yep, same oh, for me. Okay. Same with that one. Okay, well, yeah. fine. Well, I guess, uh... We did our best. We did our best. Okay, that's one 
back at three. Uh, hopefully that grizzly has gotten back up the hill. It sounded like we got kind of close, so we didn't come back. We'll sweep the middle, and then we'll, on the way back, we'll sweep down the road. Okay. That's terrifying. Yep. Yeah, I got him. I had to call him. Uh, there's no way he was going to move far enough. No. Once they have a place to scavenge, it's hard to get them off of there. Send the check in. Already? Oh, and uh, just in case you find yourself riding the tracks this evening, there is a train out and about. I saw it there in the road. There is. It's been a minute since I've seen one. We had to fall in the little silent there, but now we're back. <laughs> I didn't even notice. But now we have music again. Not my horse. 
I look butt ugly with that mustache. I <laughs> one on my upper lip. But my bandana went and took that from me. Damn bandana. My bandana took my mustache from me. <laughs> <laughs> I worked so hard on that. <laughs> well, remind me never to get a bandana. Yeah, don't. Sometimes with the uh, herb work, it's necessary, so uh, I'll have to find one that doesn't interfere with the mustache. Well, I thought mine didn't. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes have been made. I'm gonna have to find me a barber now. Morning. 20 years I've had Morning. a mustache. I'm not losing it to a fucking bandana. <laughs> <laughs> I might just stick my poncho over my face when I'm collecting herbs. <laughs> They'll never recognize me now, though. Of course they will. They still sound the same. No. Not if I talk really high-pitched. Why would you do that? No, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't got no good <laughs> reason. Well, they'll never recognize me if I disguise my voice. Yeah, well, I mean, duh. Shave, shave your mustache, take off your hat, talk really high pitched, and the wolves won't know what hit them. Take the southern road. All right. Not, not down to strawberry, back across the big valley. Well, I can see I feel like a child. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the joke. <laughs> said, uh, I feel like a child and it's bothering me. <laughs> <laughs> Why, he's barely a boy. A mustache, yeah. Some sort of facial hair. I mean, I think it'd be hilarious to see a child with a full-grown beard. You know what? I knew a kid like that. 13 years old, full beard. That's funny. I was jealous is what I was. <laughs> I mean, that picture in my mind, I just can't. I can only smile at it. It's too funny. He's a big boy, too. He's a... Just a unit what he was <laughs> like uh, I swear to god you'd look at him you'd go that's a full grown man no sir wolves yep
Let me get this thing off of here. Take a little sample. I'm gonna I'm gonna step behind this rock, take a quick nap. Alright. Alrighty, and that takes care of that. Yeah, my only concern now is that's a pack of greys out here in the daylight. Right. So someone might they? be injured. Yeah, exactly that. Right, we were on the road down there. They came from up the hill. Mm-hmm. Right, once JT uh, recovers from his headache, we'll uh, we'll take a quick round see what we can find. All right. I'll need to burn these bits and bobs. Was still close to me when Cannon bugged me. I shot straight in the face. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the one we all sort of shot just kept going. I figured I'd chase him and put him down because there's no way I'm risking it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, I uh, had a perfect shot lined up. I hit a fucking branch. Oh. I saw the leaves explode. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Alright, uh, so obviously that was a pack of greys out during daylight, so let's take a sweep around the area just to make sure nobody's hurt and uh, all the rest of it. Uh, they came from mm, slightly further west of us, I think. Saints cross the range of four, anyone out here in this position? Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, if you're injured, please call out. Saints Crossing Ranger Corps, if you're injured, please call out. Yeah, we're thinking they were probably just around the ranch. Uh, I don't see or hear anybody. Uh, do a sweep along. The, I don't want to go too far up the back. Yes, yeah, so we still got the bear. Mm-hmm. Saints crossing rangers. Anybody out here? Saints crossing rangers. We out here. Just make stuff known. Saints crossing ranger corps. Anyone in need of assistance? Mm-hmm. itself known. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Sammy. Hello, was it you guys shooting? Yeah, yeah, yep. pack of wolves. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm writing up the, the notes to, to put up uh, about all of it. Is it is it okay if I uh, put in the um, put in the note if you have any further questions, uh, please contact medic or ranger? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's that's all fine, yeah. Uh, let, can, I, can I just re read this note to you and see if it would be good to put up? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Alright, uh, so I took a little bit uh, from yours as well. Uh, so, the he uh, the big headline is Caution Wolves with Rabies in Area. Uh, testing by the SCDH has uh, shown that wolves in this area car uh, carrying rabies. Uh, please take extreme caution when working here. Avoid uh, all wolves if possible. If you're injured by wolves in this area, report to uh, medics uh, as soon as possible. Untreated uh, rabies is fatal. Do not ignore even the smallest nick. If encountering these wolves, follow the steps uh, to, on the other side of this paper uh, for you and everyone else's safety. Uh, if you end up shooting the wolves, make sure you... Uh, hold on. Uh, if you end up shooting the wolves, make sure you kill and burn them. If wolves are left to uh, for other animals to eat, they will catch rabies. Do not eat the meat. Uh, wear thicker clothes to protect yourself from bites or claws. Wear gloves if touching the wolves. Wash your hands thoroughly. If you have uh, further questions, please telegram ranger or medic for more information. Yep, sounds good to me. Okay, great. Good work. I will make two of these and post them around the ranch. Thank you so much. Uh, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we've got one pack over by Hanging Dog, and then the the pack that hangs over there were uh, still awake, so I've got them as well. Okay. Uh, old Grizzly is still up there, but uh, we're going to leave him alone unless he starts yeah. causing problems. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably for the best. Right, okay, we're going to head back down towards Owen Gila, see what we find right. down that yeah. way. Um, right. And then we'll call this patrol off. But I expect right. you'll see more of us up here doing more of the same. Most likely. Uh, but th thank you, thank you so much for helping. Yeah, you're welcome, Sammy. All right, mm -hmm. keep yourself safe. Be safe. Take care. Are you on a checkup by the mine? Uh, yeah, we can ride up that way. I'll show you where it is if anything. Yeah, This one takes you up onto Mount Shan, uh, which comes up as its own tip, if, uh, if anybody's ever fallen off down there. And then this one here takes you up towards the mine.
This one's not very well frequented because it's not very deep. Um, so uh, not often you'll find people up here, but uh, worth remembering if you're ever on a tip out this way. Yeah. Pretty hard to uh, come to any harm just swinging a pickaxe around in there, but I guess people are always falling off cliffs and such like. Well, we're coming to harm by human hands. Yeah, that's the other one. And then we're gonna cut left here. Heard. Right, I'm not sure exactly where the den is, but I've come across a pack in this area on several occasions. Uh, I'm not sure the precise location. I think the den is pretty much directly south of here. But uh, certainly in and amongst these rocks, I've uh, come across a pack several times. Right. You know this route over? Uh, I didn't. Do what? Do you know this route over the mountain? I do not. What can I do now? <laughs> Central West and North West, obviously. Howdy. And going left. Left heard. Rider. Rider seen. You want to bring the samples over the dock? Yep. Knock, knock.
Oh, shit. Howdy. Damn, heat rash is killing me. Pack. Huh? Did you recognize that range? No, well, the person in the range of Poncho that was, that was there. Because it looked like Pugsley, but it didn't sound like Pugsley. Mm, I don't think I saw them. I've just gone into the telegram office. I keep an eye out. Moment. Yeah, yeah, just keep an eye. Maybe in a bit le less conspicuous of a place. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Pat. Howdy. Than Pugsley. Yeah. <laughs> he wears a jumper. Uh, He's got blonde, floppy hair. He looks like fucking Pugsley. <laughs> Cayenne, did you get... Did you find that Central Harlands? No, I wrote back to you. Fuck. But, uh, I didn't either. I came back here and I checked the tip line and... There was... I've, I've been out there... Just about two hours. And... I cannot find that fucking thing. I, I've checked... I've gone over it those so thoroughly. Like I saw just, where, where there was, you know, a couple locals just uh, sent a telegram about someone being out there, and then it stopped. So maybe somebody found them. Yeah, maybe. Hey, I'm okay, I didn't. I didn't see anything either. Howdy. Oh, um. Oh hi. Go ahead, Emerson. Okay, um, Mister Ranger Sal, sir. You, uh, yeah. You, you, you s smell. What the fuck? He's not lying. Yeah, you know, that probably makes sense. I've been doing a little bit of work. Ah, I feel so bad. I didn't Let mean me have a ranger uh, bath. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> he, he asked if, uh, if I could be his mentor, and I told him that the first sign of business is that whenever you see Sal next you have to tell him he stinks. Oh shit. I listen. Even if I if it's hard. Uh -huh. me for a week or so at least. Well You're wanting a ranger bath? I just had one. Oh you just had one. You'll oh. never get me to be that crazy. Uh, okay. Oh fuck. Uh, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna lay my head for a little while. I'll just back. Don't, uh. I mean, wake me if you need me. Alrighty. I, too long. I don't know who gave him permission to do that. Was that Toad that just tried to Oh no! Him? Yeah. Did he kick you? Yeah. Uh -oh. Get out of here. Little shit.
That hurt. Another day. Damn. Central Heartlands. Oh gosh. Yeah, probably the same. Well, I'm needing to lay my head down for an hour or so. I'm gonna like, cuddle up next to Sal. Alrighty. Yeah, I need to write this up and then uh, get my head down as well. Everybody's seen the news about the uh, pronghorn wolf packs. I'd expect so. I have to wait for our medic to show up to deliver the samples. Or I could ride down to Blackwater, see if anybody's over there. Hello? Any medics here? Yeah, I think I'll run to Blackwater, see if the medics are there, and if not, I'll send a telegram. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Alright, go ahead, sir. Sure. And I'll probably be heading to bed pretty shortly, so uh, if I don't see you before I go, then uh, have a good night. Alrighty, in case I don't see you, have a great night. You too.
<laughs> For a second I thought there was a person perched up there like fucking Batman or something. Howdy there, Doc. Howdy. I got something for you. Yeah. No, I, I'd be careful of the bed. Oh, is, are these the samples? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Yeah, I, I was... Sorry, uh, I guess the bank was robbed and... Yeah, the deputy's still laying in the bed, but he's all patched. Alrighty. But, yeah, thank you. Uh, hopefully I'll be re returning to Strawberry again soon, so... But I'm no assuming way. this is all you guys are collecting today? Uh, yeah, this is all we were able to collect. There weren't a lot of active dens today. Alright. We just yeah. took a sample from, uh, from one member of each pack, just to have, like, a good spread of data, <clears throat> so to speak. Alright, yep, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess continue calling them and, uh, I assume he'd probably test in a, about a week. I'll, well, Fletcher's about to come here, so I'll, I'll chat with him about it. Alrighty, sounds fantastic. Yeah, and yeah, just keep me appraised of what you rangers are doing, and hopefully we can nip the rabies in the bud. Hello. Mm -hmm. You can count on it. My team speak is crashing. I'm just waiting on the crash report here real quick. I'm going to be stuck in the talking animation while it loads back up.
Ugh. Sorry about that. Did I miss anything important? <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, I think that's the plan. We'll probably send in a telegram uh, to update you guys uh, when we call, what we call, and how many samples we collect. Ron, yeah, yeah. All righty. Hopefully, only time will tell, I guess. Well, y'all take care. Now the easy thing would be to just clock off and and end it there. Then I'm gonna go the extra mile. I'm gonna go back to Strawberry to clock off there. Put my pawn show up and then run back here. Because that's what you would have to do if this was your life. Do we have any more wandering wolves? An alive one or a dead one? That's a dead one. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can figure it out. Yeah, killed two, the rest will have scattered.
Alrighty. Clocked off, so now it's time to go back home. Take a bit of a longer way, just to see if any wolves need taken care of. Yeah, this should be clear. I'll check the ranch cougar up there. I don't see it. So I think we're in the clear. No cat. Alrighty. Then we can go to bed feeling alright.
Howdy. Alrighty, you all know what this means. Alrighty, well... Today was uh, a bit different, I guess. Started the day out... Um, I mean... Pretty much no tips so I rode out west stayed around the new Austin Tower um, called the uh, called the dens that were closer to the roads a few times and eventually rode back through McFarland's where I took care of the cougar and uh, back to strawberry apparently there's a rabies outbreak in pronghorn which I also assisted with hmm yeah, that was pretty much my day. But that's alright. Doesn't always have to be very busy to be good. But I do still wonder how... Um, how to achieve balance, really. I don't know. Eh. I don't think I have too many things to split my time between. I think that might be the problem. But we'll see. I don't think anybody really knows what lies on the path ahead, to be fair with you. And that's going to do it for us here, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you all had fun. I know I did. <clears throat> but yeah, today was a bit 
quieter, and I'm not mad about it. You know, sometimes being busy can be a little overwhelming, so... I'm grateful for the rest that we were somehow afforded. Now, you know that before I end, I always try to find somebody to send you on to, and today will be no exception. I'm going to find us somebody to, um, to continue the viewing pleasure. I don't know why I said it like that, but that's what came up, so... Yeah. All right. Nobody that I know directly is streaming. Um, bum bum bum. We'll see. Let me check a few people. Obviously, if I'm already following them, I can't see if they have follower-only chat on or not. So that makes it a little unfortunate. If any of you have someone, by the way, you're welcome to suggest them. Um, I'm just sort of flicking through here. Yeah, I have no idea. I, fo I guess I follow half the crossing at this point. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna send you on to Itty Bitty Brit, and I will hope that they don't have follower only mode on. If they do, I'm so very sorry. <laughs> but I have no clue. Alrighty, so that's where I'm sending you on to. Uh, when you get there, if you could say something akin to Chaotic Raid, I'd appreciate it. If not, I fully understand. That's fine. No worries. I'd like to thank all of the people who uh, who lurked and watched and the people who followed. Thank you so very much. An extra super thank you to the people who participated in the chat. You guys kept the chat active and kept me engaged with the content, which just makes this stream a whole lot better. So thank you so very much. And yeah, that's that's going to be me head on pillow, pretty much. So until next time, please take very good care of yourselves. And if you have any bit of energy to spare, take care of those around you. And I will catch you in the next stream. Love you, bye.